What's up everybody? Welcome to Fleming Island in the Jacksonville area. Fleming Island. A nice little suburban part of Jacksonville here. Just south of Jacksonville along Highway 17. It's kind of like a suburban area. Some people say it's one of the nicest areas to live in Jacksonville. You have new schools, new restaurants, new communities. Blah, blah, blah. Another boring suburban crap. But if you've thought about living in the Jacksonville area and you wanted Jose and Kay's opinion on Fleming Island, we're here. For one, the commute into Jacksonville is a nightmare. Um, for some reason, Highway 17 is the only highway going into Jacksonville from here. Or 21. And they're both extraordinarily busy crappy highways with far too much traffic and congestion it does back up into the orange river st john's river but you know it is a nice urban area but um it's kind of incommunicated. That's a stop sign right there. I don't know if you saw that. You see that octagon looking thing? You can take a left here if nobody's coming. That's a cop keep going straight. It's okay. You can take the next left. Not the next one, but the one after it. On Town Central Drive. Anyways, it's just another suburban suburban. You can take a left here. You guys have an idea what it's like out here. It's just like any other suburban area. Massive disadvantage is the fact that the only way into Jackson was 17. And it is complicatedly, complicatedly congested. So, that to me is a definite not plus. I feel like if you live in a suburban area, one of the absolute prime thing it needs to have is easy access to um, easy access to the city it's adjacent to really but apparently that doesn't exist in Fleming Island but if you want to live in a suburb of Jacksonville I guess this would work you just didn't have expectations and don't mind being stuck in traffic all the time. And you just need a bland suburban area. It looks like Lakewood Ranch. Kind of. I think Lakewood Ranch really was a little bit fancier than this. New schools. People walking their dogs. and There's a bum boot camp there. I hope it's not really... Oh, burn. I said bum. A bum boot camp. That would be a bad idea. A boot camp for bums. Like if it's like a boot camp, but for bums. And they get a place to sleep. That would be a great idea. A bum boot camp. And they get a place to sleep. You know what I've also thought about? Like, you know what? With public services and helping people in the street. Imagine if you're a couple. None of those government programs would ever even allow you to stay there if you're a couple. They would want to separate the males from the females and everything. And if you're a functioning family, male and female, you should be able to live together. Like, none of these programs work. It's just so ineffective. Yeah. Nice tree-lined streets. Well, I think what they're looking for is, you know, mar if they're married, they might be able to be well, together. they're not going to be married. They're just yeah. together. It's, they don't have the probably... They're more loyal than most people that are married, like we're talking about in the Orange Park video. Yeah. Is this one gated right here on the right? Try going there. Is it gated? No, you can go in. Okay. Hmm. All right. All right. Let me park. Take me home to the place homeless from near Jacksonville, near Ocala, near the woods. And now we're in Fleming Island. You can just pull the loop around this little neighborhood yeah. and pull back out. 
All these places look the same. Mm -hmm. All these houses look the same. All these suburbs look the same. All these cities look the same. All these cities look the same. All these suburbs look the same. They're all safe and they all got brand new schools. They all got people who think that their life is cool. But do they know that they're not far from a divorce? Oh, look at that butterfly. It was huge. It was so big. I missed it. So now I'm jealous because you got to see something that I didn't. That's why I'm angry at the world. Well, I used to go for a walk when we lived in Alabama, and there'd be this be these beautiful blue butterflies. Oh, I remember the blue butterflies, yeah. Yeah. So you get the idea. It's like a Lakewood. This looks like a Lakewood Ranch, actually. Mm -hmm. It's identical to where we live in Sarasota. But they say that's safe. That's the real question. Mm -hmm. And do they have easy access to the metropolitan area? Yeah. Which they probably don't. This looks identical to where we live. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, the only thing that, like, I've noticed that I don't like... Why are you it, stopping if there's no stop sign? There is a stop sign. No, there isn't. Why are you stopping? Right there. That's not a stop sign. Where's your stop sign? You almost got rendered. You stupid, stupid Karen! There was a cross. I don't care! I'm angry at the world! And I'm disrespectful and angry, and I just I just want to punch somebody. I think I'm having problems with my blood pressure. Yeah. Well, you eat that you weren't supposed to. Bacon Everything. sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm very safe. Yeah. It's very safe. In Fleming Island, it's very clean. In Fleming yeah. Island, the only thing that I don't like out here is the overuse of like dark gray. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense with the scenery. Yeah, I'm with you on that. It really doesn't make sense. So you see the octagon thing? Yes. <coughs> That's what we like to call a stop sign. You're supposed to stop at those. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, the orange things are pedestrian crossings. The ones you've been running over lately, those things are actually not supposed to be ran over. They're, they're actually the ones you're supposed to stop for. So I know you've been blowing stop signs and running over pedestrians. Like, see these things right here? Mm -hmm. You see the yellow thing? That's actually a pedestrian crossing. Yeah, you want to stop for those. Yeah, you want stuff down there. Right? Ow! Was that being a jerk again? Yeah. Ooh, this is a little bit nicer, but it's gated. It's a nice suburban area. Si amor, yo te doy dinero. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Si tú me das yo te doy dinero. Mm-hmm, porque yo te quiero. Mm-hmm. Are, are we back in Lake Ranch? No. Heritage Oak Trace. Where the white folks race, bicycles and tripods are placed on sidewalks to take pictures of families. Perfect families of happiness. But little do they know that a divorce will soon ruin everything they've worked for because yeah. their family wasn't based around love and appreciation for each other like me and Katie it was based <laughs> off of making money and living in a suburban life daily and little did they know that while they all lived in the same house they had nothing in common and that my lyrics were depressing yeah <clears throat> Too much dark gray. Yeah. This is an alright looking 
this summer. Yeah, it looks fine. It's just... It's a very natural area with the trees and stuff. Yeah. And then dark gray with the trees kind of looks a little... Depressing. Yeah. Bland. Yeah. Let's take a right here. Mm-hmm. How you doing? Good? Yeah. You doing okay, puppy? Yes. You looking good, puppy. You look good today. Mm -hmm. I you. smell like a homeless person. Eh, you want some, you lose some. I saw the gator right there. Gator? You got that gator right there. Okay, on the other side, it looks a little fancier. Mm-hmm. Well, that's gated. Yeah. Big houses on the other side. Yeah, I'm sure. Cuéntame cómo te ha ido, se has conocido la felicidad. Cuéntame. Are we on 17? Yeah, we're on 17, I think so. We'll be in Green Cove Springs soon. Cool. We'll stop at a racetrack up ahead. Okay. Throw out the garbage, get some water bottles, take off this homeless skin clothes. named the water is very dark it's called there's black creek because it looks of, black yeah, there's a lot of manatees around here yeah oh the homeless people told me there's a lot of manatees in their creek oh cool so, yeah they said they're gonna cook one later on today the baby ones are tender <laughs> i'm just playing <laughs> hey they've already got enough problems though so they don't <laughs> add don't uh -huh. add the wildlife going after them <laughs> But seriously, it's my first time having manatee. They're really nice people. They share their food. I've never had manatee. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. <laughs> yeah. You know, I would if it was true, I would have brought you some. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna enjoy something that delicious without you. I know. In Cuba, people eat Except them. Except the time where in Cuba you went and visited your family in a town when I was sunburned. Oh, birth. yes, I did eat sea turtle without you. You ate you. sea turtle uh, without me. Right, damn it. I, I, you're a snitch. You're, you're an American. I can't trust you with doing stuff like that. You think I'm going to go back to my home country and eat a sea turtle and then be like, hey, my American wife in my country, we eat to go. Dude, I... Uh, oh, come on. You think I'm going to go to my country and bring a snitch white woman and be like, hey... Hey, white woman, here. This is a freaking uh, sea turtle. I ate all sorts of things in Cuba. We didn't tell you what you were eating. Like, I oh. found out what You're I like, was hey, eating. Hey, honey, can we get this back home? I'm like, we could, honey, but we won't. <laughs> yeah. Just, what is it, baby? It's so good. I'm like, you just don't, I wouldn't even worry about that. And it's always like, hey, honey, what's, what's that stuff? We got to get gas. Yeah. What's that stuff we had last night? I'm like, you don't even worry about that. Can we get that back home? I'm like, we could, but we won't. Like, you were eating all types of stuff in Cuba. I didn't even tell you some of the stuff you were eating. Uh, uh, you were just like, honey, that steak tastes so good. I'm like, yep. Yeah. Right, let's get some gas, get some water.